Hello again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. We've been looking at searches in Chess Base 11, ways to go into your library of games and find just the information that you want to find. Basically anything that you can define to a computer, any kind of a concrete search that can be defined in concrete, not fuzzy terms, can be found in Chess Base 11 if you know how to do it. And that's what we're showing you in these videos. We've been looking at material searches, how to search for games by material balance. In the last video we looked at one, we're going to look at another one, a slightly refined version of our last search. This time though I'm going to use the Mega Database. Right click on it, that's the one we want to search. We'll select Search. Notice that my old search criteria are still here. Um, I'm doing this video a few minutes after the last one that you've already seen. Uh, notice, remember, that we were looking for one queen versus two rooks. That old club argument. The old club endgame argument. What would you rather have, the queen or the two rooks? I can't tell you the number of times I've seen people argue this point in chess clubs. It's always fun to, to kick this one around. Remember that we're doing one queen versus two rooks. Remember we use the little arrow buttons to set the numbers that we want. One queen against two rooks. Ignoring colors, we don't care which side has the queen and which side has the rooks. Remember that we were looking for games where either side could have any number of pawns. However, if you want a real pure queen versus rook ending, in which nobody has pawns, it's just the queens versus the rooks, here's how you would do that. Go down to your pawns, where I've had it set for 1 to 8 pawns, 1 to 8 pawns. We're going to set these markers to 0. We want 0 pawns on a side. Note, again, you can use the little arrow buttons to move the number up or down, or as I'm doing here, highlight it and just hit the number on the keyboard. So now we have a pure queen versus rook ending. A queen and a king versus two rooks and a king, and we're going to find out, with no pawns on the board now, which one is the better end game at or which side has has the better end game based on practical application based on actual games that have occurred not theoretical let's see what we come up with we click OK and it goes into the mega database and it starts searching now according to this is going to take about two minutes to search the entire database I don't know that we're going to sit here and wait for the whole thing but what we're starting to see already is we are beginning to get results we're beginning to get games coming up in our search and notice that most of these games are draws. Now I cheated, I did this search a little bit earlier today and I found out there are some games in which side or the you know which one side or the other wins the game. Um, and they'll be coming up here directly. Right there we have one that just popped up from 1995 in which black won. I believe the next one with a decisive result will be a black win as well if memory serves. Yep, there it is from 1998. And we're not quite halfway done the search already. But notice the number of draws. The majority of these games are drawn. Another black win, two black wins. There's a white win. Now, of course, since we didn't specify which color would have the queen and which color would have the rooks, it might be worthwhile to just click on these games and see. So we click on this one, we find out that black wins with the queen, 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 white wins with the queen. There's one where black wins with the rooks. So right away we have a, a situation here where we can uh, take a look at the game. However, I got a pretty good idea how this one plays out. We'll double click on it uh, to open up that game in a board window once the search is done. and uh, Or we can just play through it right here. Um, but I knew the rook would wind up taking. And now we have a, a king and rook versus king. So that was rather predictable. Here we have one where the two rooks, once again the two rooks, uh, are actually the winning side here. So we can just play around, look at these games, and see exactly what happened and why these games played out the way they did. But that's the value of doing a material search in chess bases. You can answer these kind of questions. If you're doing end game research and you want to see which side is better in this particular case, you can do it just by doing a material search the way I've shown you. Something to look for also when you are looking at your search results, you have a column here called VCS. I believe we've discussed this before. It means variations, commentary, and symbols. 
uh, basically what it is is an annotated game and if you go down here to this game with VCS you click on it and we do have annotations there so we can look at some uh, annotations throughout this game um, scroll down there aren't any others there are only a couple of games here which have annotations there's one that's lately annotated up here at the top so that's something to look for when you do any search uh, if you're using the mega database or any database that has annotations one of the things you want to be aware of when you're looking at a long list of games well which one do I want to play through always look in that VCS column look for something that has variations in commentary and that's usually a good starting place because there will be some notes there whether or not they relate directly to what you're searching for is another story but that game does include notes so that's a good place to start we're going to look at more material balance searches in another video coming up until then for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.